With great joy, we invite you to be in the presence of Arya Maharishi Kapri Timaya during the 10-day Presence Immersive happening in Goa in December 2024. To know more, to register and to make your travel plans, click the link in the description below. Namaskar, Maya. Namaskar, Anthony. It's so good to hear your voice and thank you for so much guidance that you're providing today. I've released so much emotional stuff and as I continue to surrender, I notice that little things will pull me off center where those little things would not have pulled me off center previously. And, you know, some, some of the questions that I've heard today about fasting and holding your center, but it gets away from me. Like being in my center, it gets away from me. And, uh, you know, I'll bend and I'll, you know, lay flat on the floor before yoga practices, but it gets away from me. And I'm just any more guidance on kind of how to bring the center back more, more quickly. It's almost like I'm more sensitive to the things that are taking place in my life than ever before. And, and it's, it's kind of like new to me to have, you know, that type of sensitivity pulling me off center. I, I, I hopefully that, that question makes sense. It's not about, you know, the center coming back. It's about you going to the center. Center is where it is, it doesn't move. It is you that is moving away. And you're moving away in those moments because of sensitivities that have developed. The thing is that those are not sensitivities that have developed. Those are insensitivities that are falling away. So in other words, through the, you know, it's been 40 years maybe or more of, I don't know how old you are exactly, but say 40 years of all of that gook being piled on. I was in Venice once and I was looking at these, uh, these statues there and all those pigeon droppings on them. And, you know, the idea came to me that if, they would just be free of all of that stuff, they could just walk to their freedom and that's exactly what happens. As these pigeon droppings of the ego that have been slapped onto you start to clear away because you're cleaving your way through to the truth, these sensitivities develop which are actually a falling away. And what happens is, is because you're not used to knowing how to deal with all of that, you sort of feel pulled away. So it takes some time, it's a process, and the way is not to imagine that the center is somewhere and you have to pull it back, but that you have to bend towards that center. You have to remind yourself, if you feel uneasy, to everyone on this satsang I say, if you feel uneasy about something, pay attention, don't ignore it. Pay attention. When you feel uneasy, it means something is not okay and most of the time it means you're being reminded to focus more on the Truth in that moment. And the moment you focus on the Truth, all those elements that could lead to you taking action that would cause you suffering, fall away. So you're back on track. It's quite amazing how that works. It's important to pay attention to when there is a subtle uneasiness about a situation or a circumstance in the system. It's the body itself that's doing it. It means that the body knows that it is not going with the Truth. Very fascinating if you can just pay more attention to that. You pull yourself towards the Truth. It's not the Truth you have to pull to you. It is you that has to bend to the Truth in that moment. Yes. Thank you so much. So when those situations come up, moving myself more towards those situations. And so it's not me falling away. It's me. I need to bend to that because I do have moments of clarity where it's like, it's such an unbelievable, like weightlessness feeling. Right. And it's, and it's, and it shifts and it leaves. And it, it's like, I want it to come back and might these little things sometimes yes. throw me off. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you so much. You're not bending to the situations you're bending to the Truth, 
because you feel that uneasiness when you're not bending to the truth. When you bend to the truth, that situation or that circumstance reveals itself for what it is, but without causing you suffering. I understand. Yes. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Namaskar, Anthony. So, uh, my question is, ever since starting this practice, there has been this um, falling in and out of ego. What I've noticed lately, the lapsing back into ego seems to be getting actually more difficult, which is not something that I would expect. For me, it feels that the neurotic state of the ego seems to actually be more heightened. The fear, let's say, for example, as an emotion, which, which I would say it's my biggest foe, uh, is getting bigger. I do get back to the center, to Antaratman, and there everything is always fine. But I'm kind of worried whether this intensifying of ego noise when I'm in it, is this a sign that my ego is growing stronger? What is happening with you is a good sign, because what it means is your sensitivity to the loud noise of the ego is increasing. You're now much more aware when that loud ego is rearing its head, it appears to you to be much louder than it used to be, you know, noisier, more demanding, more yearning, more insisting, more resisting, all of that. But the thing is that earlier you were not sensitized to it. You didn't even realize that you're acting from ego. Now it can't hide from you that well. Your magnifying glass is becoming stronger and stronger. So it appears to be very large under that glass, but in reality, it is the same thing that was before. The only difference is you are no more a victim of it as you were before, because you catch it. And even if you wallow in it for a while, you know that you can go back to the center of your being and there the ego simply doesn't have any say. And so the ego, and of course we're almost personifying it, it's not as simple as that, it's a collection of what has been socialized onto you. This ego is kicking and screaming and making a loud noise because it doesn't want to go to its own funeral. It doesn't want to give up its power over you. So you don't have anything to worry about. The moment you realize it's a loud thing there, you move to your center and you bend and surrender and instantly it's over. Instantly you're back in tune with the truth of your own existence. So not to worry about it, just make that shift, don't look at the ego too long. It's no point looking at the enemy, one just looks at one's source, at the truth, and one stays there. Yes. Another thing that screams like that in this sense is my family life, closer and, and wider, and my, my life in general, seems to be in the states of ego, it seems to be extremely bad. I see the effect on the other people, so I get more sensitive to it. So I guess, yes, that makes perfect sense. And I get more pressure, of course, to get back as soon as possible. Yes, that is how the, the sadhana, the practice, unveils itself, reveals to you this, this thing which you have to turn away from. Because unless you see it, you're not going to turn away from it. So you're being pushed more and more to the truth of your existence. And whatever your understanding of that is, it's always better to tune in to that center, even if you don't feel it, the answer, and to ask the question than not to do it at all. So all in all, things are moving in a good direction. Just remember, it's a matter of perception. You're now able to perceive better the magnifying glasses in your hand now, and you're using it. And that's what it's about. Yes. Thank you, Maharishik. You are invited to a live online satsang with Maharishika Preeti this Sunday. To know more, click the link in the description below. With great joy, we invite you to be in the presence of Arya Maharishi Kapriti Maya 
during the 10-day Presence Immersive Happening in Goa in December 2024. To know more, to register and to make your travel plans, click the link in the description below.